Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode 10 of season two of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Last episode ended with Sky leaving with Ward and Hydra after they had taken hold of their ship. As they were leaving, the order was given to shoot the thing down, and that's where we ended the episode. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. So if you wanna see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon, or if you're coming over to the channel, because you access as well. It is a watch-along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes from our action the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also got to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage, and trying to make it worth your while, so sure go to support support channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction, at least a like drop a comment subscribe if you're not already huge shout out to the team over at prepper for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on youtube and with that all said another way let's go ahead and hop into episode 10 what they become here we go trip find some cloud cover roger that do you think they're coming back well sh <laughs> should we cloak not yet i'll command the weapons control post just grab a seat and lock in it's gonna get bumpy May's got this. We have about a minute before Hydra opens fire. What? No, go. Move over. Go. <laughs> because they can't shoot him in the same scene with them overlapping like that. I mean, they could. It would just be that much more difficult. They're locked on us. Weapons are hot. You want me to cloak? Not yet. Damn, what an opening so far. I mean, we're not even done done yet. Now. Nice. Nice. Anything on your screen? Negative. Radar is clear. Mission accomplished. You'd think you'd see some falling debris or something or whatever, but... Whatever. I'm gonna have to let Coso know that Hydra has Sky. Copy that. Yeah, that's gonna be some good news to deliver. Whitehall's demand was for Reyna. He said nothing about Sky. So Ward called Nautable when he saw her on the plane. Or had his own agenda the whole time. He told Sky mm. he was keeping his promise. Which means he's taking her to meet Daddy Dearest. Mm-hmm. We'll do everything possible for Mac. But right now, we have to stop Hydra from getting the obelisk into those tunnels. Mm. Okay, well, Agent May says this is ground zero for the obelisk and whatever apocalyptic stuff it's supposed to do. So if we plant explosives around it... One would hope. You don't have to say things about Mac being alive just because he was my friend, Gemma. We're dealing with alien tech, alien biology. Who knows what might have happened to Mac down there? That's a good point, actually. I apologize. <laughs> What if it reacts when it senses a threat? I mean, it's the, it's the same way the obelisk would when somebody touches it. I mean, we, we both know that alien materials react negatively to human That's biology. a good point. White blood cells fight off bacteria. I was going to actually yeah. say that, <laughs> what she just said. What if the city didn't kill Mac, but co-opted him, made him a part of it? Like zombie ants? Yeah. Maybe it's like the fungus of pheocordyceps. It, it possesses and transforms ants into creatures that do its bidding. Maybe the city didn't kill Mac. It turned him into a clicker. Joel and Ellie, you're gonna have to come through and take him out. Looking for something? Mm. Mac would hate to see his garage like this. Oh, we still don't know what uh, secret they're keeping from him. When this is all over, I'm gonna cry for like a week. Hey, come here. No. Mac's one of the best. If he really is gone, then the number of people I trust on this planet just plummeted. About that. Colson wanted me to set a meeting. You know, I could use some backup. I might know a guy. Want me to see if he's available? Is he good? Ah, oh, good enough to know you're keeping a thumb drive from him. Uh. I want to trust you, Bob. I really do. So I'm going to assume that whatever's on that drive has nothing to do with you and me. I'll go get my weapons and we can go. Damn. And this is this exactly is what feeds into his whole trust issues with their relationship. Checking exits, numbers of men, weapons inventory. I'm impressed. <laughs> How's your marksmanship? I don't know. Hand me your sidearm. Let's find out. Cool under pressure. I see Mace teaching you control. In S.H.I.E.L.D., they train you to control yourself. Hydra wants to control everyone else. I'm not loyal to Hydra. My orders were to collect Reyna. Bringing you along was my idea. Maybe you don't remember, but we've played this game of Let's Kidnap Sky before, and it didn't end well for you. That's not my concern. Then what is? 
Dad. I'm sure you two have a lot of catching up to do. Damn. <laughs> what a what a reveal. I promised myself <clears throat> I wouldn't get emotional. It just I've waited so long for this moment. Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to be perfect. I, I had plans. Those little almond cookies, you know, flowers maybe. Mm -hmm. It was the worst day of my life, losing you, but I didn't lose you. I wasn't careless. I didn't forget you were stolen from me. I wasn't always like this. You were born in China. Your mother was Chinese. When you were first born, we were so happy. I worked in a clinic. People liked me. I liked myself. So what happened? Hey. <laughs> this is the answers. Thing I want to Talk. Say. I'm going to take care of you. Then get me out of here. What? Maybe I haven't been clear. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. This is your destiny. Oh, <laughs> God. Ah, I couldn't imagine that. What he just got to feel like in that room. Hail Hydra. You think he's selling us out? We're selling them out. Well, you think it's a signal? I think so. You think or you know, because they're coming right towards us, and if it's not clear and we're compromised, I need to know the... <laughs> so it was a signal. It's an address here in San Juan. Nice. A Hydra Chub. Tell them to get out of the way. Sorry. Hello. A little <laughs> misunderstanding. As you were. <laughs> Tell me what happened to my mom. She worked with me at the clinic. One day, a group of men came in. They were looking for your mother. We tried to fight. I tried. Hydra. They called themselves S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm. I left you with people that I trusted. I tracked your mother to Europe. But by the time I caught up with them, it was too late. Whitehall cut her to pieces. He took her organs, her blood, and when he finished butchering her, he dumped what was left in the ditch, like she was garbage. What's the music box from her dream? I've heard that before. She used to sing it to you when you were a baby. Dr. Whitehall wants you. There'll be plenty of time to answer all of your questions. But first, I'm gonna kill the man who destroyed my life. Best day ever. Oh, God. <laughs> this guy's so good, man. Though I'm kind of surprised that this room wasn't bugged. Where's your brother been hiding? Well, all this excitement fried his circuits. His cooling system kicked in, and he's recharging his batteries. I know what you're doing. My God! You son of a bitch! Can you superimpose the alien city over the map? And practically over the chamber. Yeah, but they can't get to it. We know that. There's a couple hundred feet of volcanic rock on top of it. Shield has tech that can drill right through it. That means hydra. Yup. Yeah, plasma drill. That would make light work of it. Any evidence of water sky? All the shit they stole. How does she fit in? I needed insurance that S.H.I.E.L.D. wouldn't blow us out of the sky. But you also ordered that the S.H.I.E.L.D. plane shouldn't be shot down. I had to counter that order myself. Eh. Oh, no. I'd like you to pick it up. You first. Nice. I hope you're as special as your mother. Ew. Ah, oh, you son of a. Wait, he already pieced that together. I didn't recognize you when you first barged into my office. If my daughter wasn't here, I would tear you and your men to pieces. Do it anyway, right now, who cares? Agent Ward believes if he helps Sky fulfill her destiny, she'll see him for who he really is. Oh. Mm, you fucking nerd. And after all these years, you won't get your vengeance for what I did to your wife. Dude, fuck this guy. 
Remain alert around Agent Ward. He's a trained killer, one of the best. I have a feeling that in time, I can make you comply. Oh, God damn it. No, please don't do this. I really hope they don't Winter Soldier his ass. Two goals, stop the drill, find Sky. Are you forgetting a third? What's that? Don't die out there. We tend to remind each other not to die. Thought that was implicit. He likes to hear it. Who doesn't like to hear it? I agree. Sometimes even if you know a thing, you need to hear it. What do we do if Mike's down there? If he's dead, we'll bring his body back up. If not, it's not Mac. We'll be doing him a favor. Mm, I mean, I get it, but still, I don't like hearing it. I'm happy to comply. So you're loyal to Hydra? I'm loyal to Dr. Whitehall. There was a guy I used to be loyal to. He went completely insane. <laughs> I love to hate Ward, man. I waited years for this. Oh, God. I killed your wife. And before I kill you, I want you to watch what I do to your daughter. Well, dude, fuck this guy. Shut up. Just trying to be helpful. I'm a lot nicer than he's gonna be. Oh! Nice. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, me too. It's safer here. And I'm about to do something to Whitehall. I don't want you to see me like that. I don't mind. No! I wanna know. Two down, two to go. What's wrong? This is taking a little longer than I'd hoped. We'll have to move more quickly. We should split up. No. Oh, no. I'm running out of time. I'm familiar with explosives. I have a map. I'll see you two at the garrison. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, how's he going to react? He didn't get to be the one. What did you do? You're welcome. <laughs> oh, no. Don't. Don't, don't fuck up Coulson. There's no way I'm letting you take Sky into those tunnels to trigger whatever Armageddon you believe in. Now, where's the obelisk? You can't stop this. Pew, 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 pew. Well, those are organs. Like, I don't know. I don't know they de-aged the shit out of him, but can he regenerate? Travel to exotic, distant lands, meet exciting, unusual people. And kill them. Also, why is he like a rage beast still, man? Like, I don't understand. Like, what happened? Oh, damn. I would have liked to have seen how he pulled that off. Sit down while I check the door. <laughs> Never turn your back on the enemy. You taught me that. God damn. Holy shit. Stop it. Stop it or I'll shoot. Dad. Oh. Yeah, that that do it. I'll go. But I'll be waiting for you. After you change, no one else will understand. Change is terrifying. But I'm your father, and I love you. I will always love you, Daisy. Oh, there it is. Finally. <laughs> no. I couldn't kill him and I wanted to when I could. <laughs> I'm gonna make it right. I'm gonna find the obelisk. No. I'm gonna stop the drill. I'm gonna make it right. No, Sky. Sky, no, don't go down there. Oh yeah, we're trying to blow that up. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, I forgot about that. I didn't even know, I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about those two coinciding. Coulson killed him. So you're free. I don't know what to do. Help me up. I can get us out of here. Then we'll figure it all out. Now he's got his own May, kinda ish. You know, Rain is still floating around somewhere. I'm sure she probably took the damn thing. Probably down there. There's the little rope. Oh God, Raina. Yep. She's gotta know, man. That's what this has all been for. Season one to now. 
Oh, she's approved to be down here. I hope we can dispel this bullshit on Mac, man. But he's alive. Alive. Ten minutes to spare. Yeah. I'd be much more excited if Mac wasn't still down there. I can't think about it. It's too sad. We're out. It's all good. Raina escaped into the tunnels with the obelisk. I wouldn't lose any sleep. The place is gonna blow in less than. Guy and Coulson went in after her. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. You can't go down there. No. No. Trip is too dangerous. No. Trip is not. Oh no, and not with the suit either. Colson and Sky have gone down. Why the hell would they do that? We need to clear this place now. Copy that. She's getting them out of there, but she's staying behind to wait. You scared the hell out of me. What are you doing down here? Mac! Mac. God, man, it's so crazy. I'm gonna come back. Okay? God, it just makes me think of the black oil in X-Files. Come on, Joe. One more to go. He's not gonna get to it, is he? One of them will at least go go off. Finally get to find out what do we become. Make it stop. I can't. Oh. Neither of us can now. Oh, let's go. Oh no. Oh god. Holy shit. Wow. Oh no. Again? That was much easier than last time. No, um. Now what? Oh, whoa. And it begins. Whoa, he just fucking. No. Oh, oh no. What the fuck? Oh, oh no. What does that mean for him though? Cause he's not like them. I mean, that goes back to my question about everybody else that has been touched by the thing up until this point. Damn. Oh no. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, I was like, that shockwave better not just turn his body to dust. There's, there's gotta be a chance for Trip, man, please. And let Mac go. Raina's got like spines now. Oh, he saved their lives too. I can't believe that's how he went out, man. What the fuck? Oh, what? There's another one? Are you seeing this? There's someone new. Tell the others I'm on it. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> the beacons have been lit. The avatar has returned. All right, man. Gosh, these episodes are so damn good. I can't believe Trip is dead, man. Like, it's one thing if he was turned, like I was talking about before. We never got clarification on whether or not it could be reversed. And I don't know if her father was lying or not when he said he could teach them how to survive its effects, or if it's specific to only special these, these individuals can do so. They metamorphize. You saw how quickly that they turned and then came out of their shells. We haven't seen that with anybody. Everybody just turned into a statue is still a statue. 
or dust. See, I thought when that she let out that shockwave and broke out of her little cocoon there, I thought it was that shockwave that was going to just turn Trip's body to dust. But no, it was just the, the whole place around them quaking and coming down that disrupted it and broke him apart. That's so heartbreaking, man, because he, he put it all on the line. You know, they set up all these charges. They were going to bring it down till Coulson and everybody went down there. And then he sat, ba he basically, he made the sacrifice. He didn't have to go in that room and he would be fine if he didn't go in that room. Hell, he'd be fine if he didn't like kick the shit out of that crystalline structure that was inside the obelisk. If he didn't do that and make contact with one of those shards, he'd still be fine. But that's not who he was. He was down there to save Skye and Coulson. He saw her get about to get locked up in there and ran after and instinctually got stuck in there. And unfortunately, that's what killed him. That sucks so much, man. I don't think there's a way to come back from that. I, I mean, I don't know how you would. It is comic books. There's all kinds of crazy shit. Maybe they can swing something around to make it work. But I... That was emotional, man. The whole thing was really emotional. This whole, like, last 15, 20 minutes was just really fucking, uh... One, there's just a lot of stuff going on, but there was just a lot of different emotions to wrestle with, especially with Sky and, you know, learning about this truth about her mother, about her father, and we still don't have all the pieces. We still don't know why he is as unhinged as he is. He says, you know, he had one bad day, like he had a little bit of a Joker moment, you know, with what happened the day, you know, Hydra slash S.H.I.E.L.D. came to take his wife away. And then everything that happened after that, especially when he finally found her in the state that she was in when he found her. Like, that'll do something to you. But, like, he seems to have, like, this Jekyll and Hyde thing going on and some kind of weird monster strength or something like that. But where does that come from? Just other experimentations? We don't really have any of those answers yet. Ward is playing his own game. He's like, I'm not allied to anybody but myself, and I made a promise to Sky, and I'm going to maintain that promise because I still have feelings for her. So we'll see where that thing goes. And now with uh, Whitehall dead, I was kind of surprised that's how he went down. And so so nonchalantly like that too, with Coulson just coming from behind, still in that kill. And nothing he had w had been building up in his head all these years went according to plan. Not the reunion with his daughter and definitely not getting to exact revenge on Whitehall for what happened. No, all that kind of got taken and he started to make Coulson this vehicle, this outlet for all of that rage. But Sky had to step in or Daisy now. Daisy stepped in. We'll call her Sky until she settles into the, the Daisy of it all. But all that was just really, really well done, especially you know when she had to try to get his attention to stop beating on Colson when she just yelled out, Dad, and you just saw his, his face freeze up and light up in a way as well. It was just her two dads just going at it, man. Ah, uh, I don't know the deal with Reyna. I don't know uh, where that goes. I know what this did to Skye. That's one of the things we've talked about before that I did already know. I knew what she was. I know what she can do. I don't know the extent of it. I know, like, the main base thing i know obviously her code name i've heard it over the years and also i knew her real name because it's also i completely forgot that she had sky as an alias up until this point that she didn't know her or she didn't go by her real name until we started rewatching these these little seasons here so i feel like uh i think we're not that far off from where i stopped watching i'm not exactly sure who knows but I do feel it like it's around the corner. Because again, I don't know that I finished this season. I don't know if I got all the way through this one. Uh, but I can tell you at least from season three onward, it's all going to be... Like, I've never seen a second of any of that. Coming back to the Ward thing, though. You know, that whole little thing, now that Whitehall's dead. You know, this fake May is now kind of a free agent. And it's, it's funny because... In a weird way, he was like, hey, how about we get out of here or whatever, you know, be your own person, blah, 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 come with me. You know, that whole thing. It's a little weird to be considering the relationship the Ward had with the real May. And if there's going to be some weird kind of pseudo version of that with her here 
still a sky at the center of all of it. That would be interesting if they kind of did something along those lines. Mac is okay, seemingly, now that the, the, the temple has served its purpose. Though I don't understand the whole, like, like, does it just do a one shot and it's done? I feel like this would be a perennial thing. It's just wouldn't, wouldn't, but based on what the obelisk does and what it's for, I, I wouldn't imagine it's just a one and done. You know, the self-defense mechanism, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it just turned off once it fired off once. But he's free. I'm just still, I'm still torn up about Trip though. Like, I really, really dug him. And, you know, there was some fun stuff going on there. You know, whether or not it was with Sky or Simmons and stuff like that, they flirted around with, they've kind of been flirting around a little bit with the, each one of them. With Simmons last season, him and uh, Sky this season. So, uh, I really was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where that, I don't know where that leaves us now. But again, Fitz was actually doing real good aside from like going the wrong way when he went to stand up for himself. He's like, Hey, we need to, we got, we're short on time. We need to split up. You no, know, he was kind of, his head was on the right track most of this episode. So that was also really surprising and also nice to see. We did have a little bit of a little bit more tugging at that thread that was set up last episode about whatever this secret is that Bobby's keeping from Hunter. It feeds into everything they've kind of been talking about up until this point about why he struggles with trusting her. He wants to, but the nature of her job, the nature of their jobs, and then stuff like this is exactly why he never can. He wants to, again, but there's always there's always going to be that little itch in the back of his mind wondering, the fuck is she keeping from me? And he noticed you know, that her sleight of hand was not as slick as she thought. His perception check was just too high. He saw that she was trying to hide that disc from him or that thumb drive from him. What's on it? We don't know. You know, Mac knows whatever this thing is, and it's something they're keeping from Hunter. What is it? I have no idea. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. But, yeah, man, pretty damn... I, this whole season's been really fucking firing, man. Like, it's every episode. Like, last season, I, you know, there was the one episode where I was just like, eh. But overall, season one was just really damn strong. Right now, I've not, I've not felt about a single episode this season so far that I can at least recollect right now. But that said, guys, what'd you all think? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the following reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Gummarimal Channel. Get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Share, Ryan Karen, York, Corsica, Melito, Rubber, Ungione, Jeffrey L, Jake and Trail, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justice Smith. Thank you guys so much for continued support. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.